I have this letter written by my son. It made me feel well, a bit weepy, but happy to think that he took the trouble to write. Last week my tooth fell out and in the morning there was a letter from the tooth fairy. It had my name on. Dear Leora, I can honestly say you're the most amazing girl I have ever met and probably the most amazing girl I'll ever know. I keep it because it's the first letter I ever got of this type. Thank you, Miss Jeffers, for all your hard work and commitment. It was the human touch that I needed on a Monday morning. I feel very blessed when I get Eileen's cards because it's someone who wants to communicate with me. I received 6,000 cards and letters from the people for my husband in the prison in Iraq. A few of us would get together after a pint or a curry and we'd write a letter um, to, to whatever urgent action that Amnesty has highlighted around the world. We just moved to Brighton and Troy was asking how our new home was and he said, um, give Lindsay a hug for me. Keep fighting, Angus. Sincerely, Troy A. Davis. I was really looking forward to kind of developing a friendship, really. We really hoped that he would actually be free one day and that we'd actually meet. When I started writing letters regularly for Prisons of Conscience, it was the discovery that uh, Amnesty had pioneered that whole thing of writing to governments you wouldn't believe took any notice, and yet they did. I wrote to Pablo for years, and when I met him when he was released, he told me that he had actually uh, received a lot of letters. The effect was amazing. He was very, very touched meeting people that he knew had been writing for him. There's no doubt at all that letters save lives.